Jojo. Uh, what are you doing in mommy's bed again? Crazy. This might be the last Saturday with just one baby in the bed. You know, next Saturday, baby Jordan might be in here. So I need to remember this moment, okay? And how precious you are. And lazy. What time is it? Almost nine. What kind of kid sleeps till nine? Oh yeah, ones that don't go to bed till almost midnight, don't you? You're so silly. Mm. What? A minion party. You want a minion party? You're so random. <laughs> Were you dreaming about minions? Or is it because we watched him last night? Where's daddy? Playing golf. Playing golf. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, people. You ready to go to a jewelry party? Yeah. Yeah. You get to spend the day with mommy. This is might be our last day together. Just Jojo and mommy, okay? Not daddy. So let's. Nope, not daddy. <laughs> I love you. Papa. I love you more. Papa more. I love you the most. Most. Want some coffee? No. <laughs> I like your Elsa hair. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're up. We're ready. Ready for the day. This might be the last time at the park, just us three. Jojo's swing. She don't even know it. Jojo, you ready to come to the park with a little sister? <laughs> you don't know. Looks like Avatar. Hey, creeper on the playground. Leave kids alone. Come here, little girl. Come on, little girl. Slowest slide. <laughs> This is a good time to vlog because I never get to any other time. Okay, why are y'all coming around me? Go play. <laughs> Everybody needs to get away from me. Today, I'm 38 weeks and 5 days. Yeah, my birthday's Friday. Today's Monday. I wore my support belt underneath my shirt. Because it hurts to walk and hmm gosh I always think of what to say and then I forget when the camera comes on I'm feel like so many contractions not real ones like the Braxton Hicks I guess I don't know all the time did I record last time I went to the doctor I don't know but when I went last Thursday so no I didn't I went Thursday and I was dilated to a two so yeah, I've just been thinking all weekend that I thought maybe this was the weekend that she was going to come. But she didn't because Jared's mom and my sister went out of town. So I thought that would be funny if she came while they were out of town. And it was my sister's birthday. But nope. So my bet is for this Thursday on our bet at work. So I kind of hope she comes in so I can win 50 bucks. Um, my last day of work is Friday if she doesn't come before then. I feel like I've got everything prepared at home I'm just waiting and kind of bored and sick of being pregnant. I feel good during the day um, But at night I feel miserable. I just I feel a lot of pressure down there and just my stomach is feel so tight and heavy and I have to pee constantly especially at night uh, I've had a few of the cramps, not a whole lot. I'm so I don't know if I said this before, but when JoJo came at my last doctor's appointment, she did a membrane sweep, and that's and then two days later I had JoJo, which was pretty much on her due date. And this Thursday 
I'm thinking that she might want to do it again. And I don't know if I want her to or not. I mean, it worked fine for JoJo, so I don't know why I wouldn't want her to, but I'd rather her come earlier than late, so I don't know. What's y'all's opinion on that? Anyways, what else? We've been cloth diapering JoJo for the past week. She still wears diapers to bed, and so the fuzzy buns has been working out good for us. Some of the other ones, like a couple of the Bum Genius ones have leaked, but I think that it's because... I didn't put the proper inserts in there. Oh, this is the point, well, for the past week, I guess, where uh, your family, my family, Jared's family, texts me every single day, how are you? Do you feel any different? Blah, blah, blah. And they're always coming to check on you at work. Are you here today? <gasps> Why are you making those weird breathing noises? I'm like, because I can't breathe. <sighs> Friday. Friday I came home from work and I had kind of cleaned up my office as though it was my last day uh, just because I didn't know and so I worked pretty hard that day and then when I got home I was exhausted and like I felt nauseous so like I laid on the couch I didn't even warm up supper I had to make Jared warm up supper for him and Jojo so I just like laid on the couch and I just like started crying and I couldn't even tell him why it didn't last very long, but I just felt like crap, you know? But this weekend was a good relaxing weekend. I got to spend time with Jojo, just me and her on Saturday, even though it's like 100 degrees here and she wore me out, but we got a lot done. Got some last minute things ordered online. Sunday was a good day at church. And then we just chilled and went to Target, got a diaper pail for the diapers. I guess that's about it for now. Let's see if there's anything else to show when we get home. Excuse the way I look. Okay, see ya. Why Say hi to Joe. <laughs> why are you leaving? Jojo. Tell YouTube hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Dude, you got some red cheeks. Alright, so. Show it. Show okay. what you installed. Well, Jessica. Kept having these dingleberries, so she had to get this installed. <laughs> this is a bidet. But no, we didn't install it for Jessica's <laughs> um, <laughs> He went with a friend. They were going to make their own. But you said that ended up costing the same. Yeah, what okay, would yeah, it cost that's right. That's what own? I was going to do about this. So this thing right here. So we go into Home Depot, and we're like... YouTube and stuff, trying to figure out how to make this bidet on ourselves and save money, you know, because we're all about Dave Ramsey and being budget friendly. Anyway, we uh, go through there, we're like 30 minutes into it, we're engineering this whole thing, mapping it out, you know, and then the, we're looking for this one part, we get this one guy comes over and ask him, he's like, what are you guys trying to do? I'm like, well, we're trying to make this diaper sprayer thing to spray poop out of our baby's diaper. Like, you mean like a bidet? And we're like, yeah, yeah. So anyway, he gives us this thing, and pretty much saved us, uh, could have saved us. I think it's like the same half an price hour. as a diaper sprayer. No. It was 40. 40 bucks. That's, I think, the same price as diaper sprayers. Well, we saw some for like 60, 70, 80, but it's got everything you need, and it's really easy to install. And if you do the YouTube thing, I mean, you can probably make your own with the, like we were gonna use a, a kitchen sprayer thing, you know, that hose comes out, and that's, what, that's pretty much what this is. But it, gets, it has everything you need. It has the uh, T switch to wherever it controls the flow of the main water, stainless steel hose, and then a good pressurized um, handle. <laughs> he just sprayed JoJo with it. Yeah, just sprayed JoJo with it. She she got really mad. But uh, you want the you want the one that gives you a little bit of you want some control here because uh, here's what's gonna happen. All right, so right back here, I'll show them here. So if you see right here, this is where my water comes in at. All we did, first thing you gotta do is turn this off. Turn that off, and then that's your main water flow, so you gotta make sure you turn that off. So this was just hooked up directly to my toilet. I just disconnected this from the toilet to put this piece in the middle. Um, but once you turn this main valve off, you gotta drain all the water out of the line, and then uh, 
just have like a bucket or something to whenever you take this off from the toilet it's going to leak a little bit so go ahead and flush your toilet to make sure the tank's empty and that way when you take this off from the toilet to connect this all the water will drain out so once i get disconnected this this piece right here it's got a thread right here so i threaded that on and then this threads into the toilet that just threads onto the toilet and then this is already assembled so you don't do anything there but right here this gives you the control so this is always going to my toilet you better wash your hands but for me to control my deal my i deal. turn this on and off right here so this gives me the water and the ability there so see here's what you want you want to be able to control your pressure to so see that's right here to spray water on yourself and see how it's going to spray the water don't drop it you don't uh you just want that pressure so because if you do that and you turn it on you're gonna have uh poop and everything splattered all over your walls because you're gonna have so much pressure going into it so but yeah that's pretty much it and it's got a little clip even for it so don't waste your time trying to put one together i wouldn't anyway or i didn't this is what i wouldn't buy actually i did for 30 minutes and then i decided to get that so yeah, and it looks kind of cool sitting there. And uh, Jessica likes to use it on her bunk sometimes, so. I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jared uh, just sprays JoJo with it. Yeah. We haven't used it on poop yet, because she's only peed in her dappers. Here's the toilet that we got. I mean, not the toilet, the trash can. And there's some dappers in there. Alrighty. There's 38 to 39 week update. I'm. I'm because I'm so anxious and nervous about like how and when this is gonna go down I love to hear other people's stories so if you've had a second child you should like tell me your labor story and how it happened I know everybody's different but I still like to hear them okay and I'm worried about things like cooking supper and grocery shopping because if y'all know about my channel you know how uh, how we cook supper just it takes time it takes like an hour to cook supper and to do these detailed grocery shopping trips and stick on a but stick to a budget y'all know how i am about that and it's like how's this gonna work when the baby comes i'm sure that we'll be brought food a lot especially like church people have been saying asking if they can come visit and bring food and stuff but i know i shouldn't stress about things like that but that's just what I'm thinking is how am I going to do all this? And I do want to show you one of my favorite um, baby items to have are these multi-use pads. I bought these new ones. They're large. I didn't mean to buy such big ones, but these are the size we used a lot when JoJo was a baby. Like after baths and stuff, we would let her um, play around naked for a while to let her air dry, you know, after being in a diaper all day and it just is waterproof so i really like them a lot and now we started using them again like since she's potty trained but she like when she naps if she falls asleep in the car and then we get home and we'll put her on the couch or the bed or something to keep napping and we'll put one of these under her just in case she pees and then we don't have to wash the sheets or the couch or anything so i got some more for baby jordan and oh, one of my friends texted me today and said that her friend's daughter was supposed to have a girl and she had to bait her baby this morning and it came out a boy. So I have a feeling that's gonna happen. Just kidding. Okay, see ya.